Hi everyone, we have WGM Marian Gomes who scored the biggest upset of the day when she eliminated GM Katrina Lagno from FIDE Women's World Cup. Congratulations Marian. Thank you. Well, uh, can you tell us about uh, all your games? Uh, my first two games were more or less, it was a, a kind of, uh, my first game I would say, I was uh, under pressure because she had a, a good position and I was not, and it was a minor piece ending. Uh, but uh, unfortunately like for her she uh, she fell short on time and ultimately she decided to just uh, uh, eliminate all the pieces exchange them and go for a drawn ending and uh, what happened in the tie break games today the tie break games today actually started <laughs> with me having a minus position from the opening the first game i had white but um, I, I got into a position i was not very familiar with and I uh, ended up uh, with a minus position after that, quite quick. Uh, but we, uh, uh, I decided to uh, sacrifice my uh, knight at one point, which uh, I was getting it back, but it was still going to be minus because I was going to be a pawn down. But uh, it was getting, it got much more complicated, the position. And in the complication, she went for the wrong uh, variation. And ultimately, I became... Uh, uh, rook and bishop with a pawn up against rook and bishop but it was opposite color bishops so the, it was uh, a little difficult to translate tra translate that into a win uh, though i do think so i missed some chances in that ending but uh, ultimately like uh, we both were playing on seconds for quite some time so i can say that okay it was uh, while i would have liked to win but uh, okay it was a, a, a normal result i would say but uh, the second game uh, i was again on the back foot in the beginning uh, i had a slightly minus position but uh, it was not anything great mostly it was after appointed you can say maybe just slightly better for her but uh, at one point uh, she just blundered a piece and after that uh, it became completely better but I was playing on seconds again and uh, I ended up returning the piece <laughs> but uh, okay at the end uh, the rook one ending I managed to win so when she played queen d5 and you spotted rook c5 were you happy uh, that she made a blunder uh, actually first thing is I was thinking maybe whether I am missing something on the board <laughs> because I actually thought for a minute before playing rook c5 because I couldn't actually believe that she had blundered a piece like means I kept looking for some maybe some tactics that I missed or something but ultimately there was nothing in that position so it was a very it was kind of a surprise a good surprise for me but uh, it, it was unexpected well, you have advanced to round three where you will face I am Nurgul Salimova from Bulgaria. Uh, what are your thoughts about this match? It's a new game and uh, uh, I'll just approach it the way I've uh, played my other games till now. And she's of course a very strong player also. So as I said, it's a World Cup so you're not going to get easy opponents. And the pressure even keeps increasing as the rounds go. So I think so. I'll just take it as a normal game, one game at a time. Have you ever faced her before in any format? No, I've never played her before. These are all new opponents for me. <laughs> well, uh, you are the fifth Indian woman to advance to the third round, which is, I think, uh, the highest ever in Women's World Cup history. Uh, out of 32, there will be five women, five Indian women. So what do you have to say about it? It feels great because uh, like uh, as I said I just uh, qualified some one month before so it was a very short notice I had to prepare for this tournament but uh, I am feeling much better like I'm feeling of course very good about uh, getting to the third round but I feel also at the same time that you have to be very cautious and uh, just play normally and not let it get to you. Thank you Miriam for your valuable time I wish you all the best for your round three match. Thank you so much.